Hey everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports here today to give a State of the Union address on the Maverick R. And really what we want to talk about today is, you know, we've, we've had our Maverick R, we actually have two Maverick Rs, uh, one in Phoenix, one in Wisconsin. And, you know, we've been doing relentless testing on these vehicles to really try to uh, bring the vehicle as far as we can in a relatively short period of time. Okay, and so, the one thing we wanted to do was kind of update everyone as to where we're at with it. And I, and I also want to revise our initial, you know, we gave an initial review uh, basically when we had the car for a few days. And uh, I think it was a little overly gracious. And I'm not saying the Mavr is a bad car by any means, but we hadn't driven it in the dunes yet. And what I can tell you is after driving a stock car in the dunes, it really is not a very good dune car. Okay, trails, desert riding is good, uh, dunes not so good. And so we really wanted to focus on, uh, you know, not only making it a good car for the trails and, or a better car for the trails and a better car for the desert, but really try to make it a good, even great car for the dunes. The major issue with the Maverick R is BRP's choice to mate a sub one liter engine with uh, a DCT or geared transmission. Okay, and this is where, you know, the CVT has an advantage is that, you know, with a CVT powered car or CVT transmission car, when you step on the gas, the engine immediately goes to peak power and will hold that peak power. So it really masks the, the low end characteristics of a smaller engine. With a DCT, you can't, you can't get away from that, okay? So it doesn't have a lot of power in the mid range and it's not because it can't make power, it's just because on pump gas, there's only so much margin for detonation uh, on pump gas, okay? Once we go to higher quality fuels, now we can uh, really give it a lot more power in the mid range but then it's not mated to the stock transmission settings as they came from the factory. All right, and as you can see from the dynograph behind me, the, the Mavr with our E85 tune makes 72 wheel horsepower more than the stock tune at 6,000 RPMs. That's, that's incredible. That's like an amazing amount of difference in power. And you can see why, like if this were a CVT car, you would have to do clutching to take advantage of that additional power. Well, it's the same thing with, with the Mavr, you know, with the DCT transmission. In order to really harness the power and make it feel the way it should, we've got to do, do tuning on the transmission, which we've done. A lot of our R&D efforts over the last six months have spent really trying to understand the factory uh, transmission tuning strategy uh, and really gain control over that. And, and um, that work is now paying off in spades because we have full control over upshift points, downshift points, how much clutch pressure uh, the, the clutch packs are making because it's one thing to be able to change the shift points, but if we can't physically keep the clutches from slipping, then it's really no good either. So. All of the DCT transmissions that we, transmission tuning that we have coming soon will all have these features built into it. We've really put a lot of time and effort into uh, creating you know, the best products available and the best tuning available for the Maverick R. And you're gonna see over the next few weeks, the, the products and services that we have coming are gonna blow people's minds. But I can tell you one thing we're not doing is we're not doing things like adding a boost box fooler uh, to the car. You know, in my opinion, this is not the right way to tune uh, one of these MG1 cars. And, you know, I will just tell you that we experimented with this about four years ago when the, uh, the MG1 first came to the Can-Am X3. We didn't have a way to tune it at the time. So we used one of these. And, it, it does work, but you can't fool the MG1 long term. The computer's too smart. It knows exactly how much torque it's making at any given moment. And if you exceed that torque value, it'll allow you to have it for a little bit, but eventually it will return you to stock power. So we don't want to do things like that. 
We want to do it in the ECU where we can control uh, all the parameters, rev limit, speed limits, um, the torque tables, you know, um, all of the things that we need to do in order to tune it properly, including the transmission. Okay, so that's what makes, you know, is going to make the best performing package possible, and that's what we're going to bring you.